The 2018 housing market forecast for CAR is here. It's 113 pages, so I'm going to break it down into three parts. First, we're going to take a look at 2017, the economic conditions in California and the proposed tax reform. Next, we're going to look at the housing trends, supply and affordability. Then we're going to finish with 2018's housing markets forecast in California. Now, the consumer confidence has definitely driven the economy with the GDP at 3.1%, consumer spending at 3.3%, and the S&P at historic highs since 2005 at 2,456. Since the recession in 2010, where we experienced 1.3 million jobs lost, we've now regained 2.4 million jobs statewide. The job growth is slowing a bit at 1.6%, but in the North Central area, we're at 3.4%, the highest in the state. In this extremely tight labor market, our unemployment rate is 5.2%, just below the statewide rate of 5.4%, but above the national rate at 4.2%. The biggest job growth this year has been in the construction industry at 6%, which is great news for our inventory shortfall as we start seeing it coming on board. Construction is followed by education at 4% and healthcare at 2.7%. The real estate industry comes in at number seven on the list at 1.5%. Mortgage rates surged post-election and have been holding the Trump bump all year long with a 30-year fixed rate currently hovering about 3.85%. Now, let's look at tax reform. President Trump's tax reform proposal includes changes that will increase the cost of home ownership. 48% of those surveyed expect housing prices to remain the same or flat, and 57% expect housing sales to actually go down. There are two provisions on the individual tax reform proposal. Number one, doubling the standard deduction. Number two, repeal the state and local tax deduction. The proposed tax reform should lead to fewer sales transactions as the tax incentives of being a homeowner vanish for many who want to purchase a property. Home sales would decline 3.4% if the proposed tax reform were to be implemented. The decline in home values would also lead to homeowners reluctance to put the property on the market and further tighten up the housing supply condition in California. An estimated 1.5% would be lost in the first year after the implementation of the tax reform. The tax incentives for homeowners could be obliterated. First time home buyers, $100,000 income, that would be a $437,000 home. Federal tax incentives to own versus rent drops from $3,291 to zero in the fiscal year. Typical buyers, $120,000 income at a house of about $533,500. The tax incentive drops from about 5782 to about 362 in the first year. Mid-range buyers, $150,000 income, and about a $615,000 house on average. The tax incentive drops from about 8,000 a year to about 1334 in the first year. High-end buyers such as San Francisco, Los Angeles, you know, metro areas with home incomes of about $200,000 and homes of, you know, 1.2 or so. The tax incentive actually drops from about $16,600 to about $57,25 in the first year. We all need to keep a diligent eye on the tax reform efforts headed into Congress and really be ready. Next week, we're going to take a look at supply, housing trends, and affordability. Well, that's this week's Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thank you for joining me again. Have a great day.